everybody, we're back! Again! Yep. Although this time it wasn't because of a glitch. Nope. And we're gonna just head straight out for the giant green glowing light in the sky. Uh, you're gonna wanna jump off one of the platforms that they have situated all around Skyloft so you can conveniently jump off your bird. Yay! But that is not one of them. <laughs> Dang it, I went down! Oh wait! I can push this. <laughs> Yeah, I'm doing it. Okay. Now let's find one of those wood nice wooden platforms. Like that one right there. Like, you just kind of run and jump off that, and then you can summon your bird. Yeah. And okay. we're gonna find that green pillar of light. I forget which quadrant it's in. Looks like I'm flying right into a rock. Yeah, but they kind of alter that one. Uh, that's good. Alright, so just kind of circle around Skyloft until we find this thing. Okay. Oh, you want to go through that, don't you? Yeah. Okay, well, you're gonna miss it, it at this uh, rate. Uh, Alright, now circle around Skyloft so we can find where that green pillar of light was. Okay. Or check your map. One of the two. Eh, yeah, I'm just gonna... You're going the wrong way, though. It's not oh. in that direction. Okay, I'm just... What is that? Um... Oh, it's a bad thing! <laughs> <laughs> There's the green pillar of light! Run away from the bad thing! Just head towards the green pillar of light. <coughs> Will I have to dive into it? Yeah. Okay. That's your only way to the surface. <laughs> and you want to avoid that tornado. And now you want to summon your bird. And you want to head back to the green pillar of light. This time without a tornado. Hopefully. Uh, go down. So you'll be, like, relatively close to it. Yeah. Okay, that should be... Or, okay, just go as far down. Or that. <laughs> That'll work. Master, Master Link. Okay, go. No. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, Master Link, observe. The green pillar before you is a column of light. It marks the point at which you can descend to the surface. You can confirm your current location on the map, please see where you are in relation to Skyloft. You know, to make it easier when you jump off next time, so you don't just kind of circle around until you find it. Yeah. So you like will be able to reach the surface by passing through the portal in the clouds at the column space. Okay. And there should be a dive option when you get close. It'll say dive down. Okay. Right there. Without my bird? Yeah. You have your, uh... Sale. That's uh, what you use. Okay. I couldn't bring my bird with me though? Uh, no. Sorry. Ah! I was excited. So cool. Meh! <laughs> I was like, he's gonna pull it out of the city, is he? Button press! Ah! Alright. Master Link, we've arrived. I, I can see that. She points out the obvious a lot. You're just gonna have to get used to it. Okay. And it's mostly because she's a, she's the spirit equivalent of a computer program. Ah. Sealed grounds. Okay. Otherwise known as the Temple of Time before it was a temple. Yeah. I swear to God, that's what this has to be. Yeah! It's in the, like, like, same location, too, like in Farron Woods. That would make sense, actually. Okay. Okay? You can just hit B. I was like, what do I do? Please proceed with caution, Master. Like, there are so many theories as to how this ends up becoming modern Hyrule, it's ridiculous. Oh, it's you! You have to vertical slash, or, or do what I do, and shield bash, when, shield bash when it attacks. Dang. Oh, I didn't know what you meant. That works too. But like, when it's about to attack, if you shield bash, it stuns it, and then just one slice and it dies. Yeah. She's telling you that your hearts are low. Uh. Like I said, she points out the obvious sometimes. Great. Just... 
There we go. The difference between her and Navi is that you can, like, avoid it. That's cool. She's, though. again, gonna tell you that your hearts are low. Ow. Just ignore it. <laughs> ah! Yeah, your heart's very really low now. Chuba! Okay. Hey! Shield! Yo! Oh god. That was quick. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, my shield would not come up. Game over. <laughs> when did you last save? Oh, they're just setting you here. Okay. Oh, thank God. Do I have to kill? Oh. Seriously? I right, pull out your shield. <laughs> No, girl, if you need it. Thanks. Okay, see that point where it attacked? Yeah. Yeah, that's when you want to shield back. Now hit it. Thank God! That's the easy way to kill them. Did you understand all that? I guess. <coughs> oh, look, the shaky symbol. Yeah, it's right when they're, like, sent going out attacking you. You gotta. Do this. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's not a good sign. Welcome <laughs> to <laughs> <laughs> That thing reminds me of a leech. I it know. Leech reminds me of so Pac Man. That's what the ghosts see. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, now there's a couple heart plants, so you can replenish your hearts just by running around. Okay. Yeah, I like that about these heart plants. Mm -hmm. Just to your left. To yeah. your left. Right there. Right there. Your shield's a little damaged, but oh well. Hmm. What's that? The surround thing. <laughs> Do I have to go down there? Yeah. At some point, I'm not exactly sure when, but I know you do. Okay, I'm just gonna go up there first and check out the door with the Shaka symbol on it. This would be a good time to call feet. Okay. Okay. Well, we got nothing better to do. Let's go down to the bottom. <sighs> you can just jump off the sides, you know. Just make sure you pull out, yeah, pull out your sailcloth and it lessens. There's bad noises. Young one. Young one. Child of destiny descended from the sky. Why do I feel uneasy? Raise the sword of the goddess skyward. Take aim at the evil aura and unleash its power. Should I do that? Yeah, you have to. Okay, so... I, it's up. It's a little touchy. I don't know how it could be more up than this. There. For a minute, I thought you were gonna miss.
Okay. You can go back up with the vents. Oh, okay. So you don't have to run all the way up. Yay! That's just like I'm sensing a change in the area that was triggered by your Skyward Strike. I have also detected an aura that correlates closely to your sailcloth. I surmise this aura belongs to Zelda. I can lead you in the direction of this aura through a process known as dousing. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Because that's of the aura, something you wish to search for using the tip of the sword. The nearer you are to an object, emitting the aura in question, the stronger the response will be. This response manifests itself through vibration and sound. The direction of the object emitting the aura is indicated by the purple pointer you see. Oh! Don't see and select Zelda as your dousing target, then point in the direction you wish to, sh wish to search. I'll tell you now, it's gonna be up at that temple up there. That's where it's gonna point. Probably. I'm gonna tell you now so you save some time. I know it's going to. Yeah, see right there? And then you wanna try and get where the arrow is, you wanna try and like lower the arrow, lower it so you don't have that arrow. And that's essentially where the temple is. Okay. So just head up the just head up the tunnels. Or the not the tunnels, the wind. I like that. Saves so much time, doesn't it? Oh, you're at the top? No. Okay. Oh god. This place this is a big spot. Like, it's really expansive. Now you're at the top. I see years. Will you let me go now? I'm guessing yes. This is some huge ass horse. Wow. Okay. What awaits us? Well, let's walk up and find out. What is that? That's a bird statue. That's you can save there. Yay! Save. Yep. You might have to like turn around a little bit. And... Oh my god. <laughs> Fine. Oh. <laughs> save. Death to all pots. Crush those pots! It's if only you could use the fairy. Yeah. Yeah, fairies only replace six hearts now. Aww. Okay. That did a lot. <laughs> okay. I think she was a little annoyed at you. Yeah, she was like, seriously? Oh. Ah, the traveler descended from the clouds above. I welcome you, child of fate. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what is your name? Link. Ah, Link. Good. Very good. I sense you have already gained control over this sacred power that fills your sword pointed when pointed skyward. The skyward strike is yours to command. <laughs> it is proof that you are fit to bear the blade you carry, the goddess sword. I have sat here for many years, waiting for you to arrive. All so that I could fulfill my purpose as your guide. Okay. You stand under the roof of the sealed temple, a place built by the goddess an eternity ago. Your arrival here was predestined many, many years ago. The spirit maiden you seek arrived here shortly before you did, descending to this land in a shower of light. There's no doubting it. The gears of fate have begun to 
Victor. Yet all is not as it should be. The spirit maiden was not meant to reach this land in the manner she did. I feel an evil power working in the shadows. It moves to warp the destiny of which you two are a part of. Link, you are concerned for her and seek her whereabouts, yes? Uh -huh. That is understandable, but for now, you must focus on moving forward. The girl has her own purpose, as she must pursue, as do you. She set out for Farron Woods to discover that destiny for herself, and you must follow. Show me your map. The X upon your map marks the path that will lead you to Farron Woods. Okay. You will be traveling in unfamiliar land. Many monsters have settled here, and a map may not prove guidance enough for your journey. And so, I will give you the power to create beacons. When a beacon is marked on your map, a column of light will stand at that location. It will act as your waypoint from afar. Point at the X and press C to place a beacon. Can I Okay. You haven't set a beacon over X yet. To remove a beacon from your map, point at it and press C once more. If you aim to be more accurate with the placement of your beacons, zoom in with A before you lay one down. Yeah, you're a little off. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> yeah, you're a lot more off once you zoom in. <laughs> C, and then C again. That's perfectly on there! Okay. Though you cannot see it from where we are, a beacon stands outside to guide you. Leave the temple through the front doors and see for yourself. When you no longer have a use for a beacon, you can remove it from your map by pressing C. Use your beacons well, and you will never fear getting lost. Okay. Go now. You must head into Farron Woods and chase after the Spirit Maiden. The one you call Zelda. On your way out, take the contents of the treasure chest within the room. What you find there should prove useful to you on your journey. <coughs> Those are the doors you have to go through. Okay. You are ready. Leap through the door before you and head into the woods. I wish you safe travel. <sighs> know that all the questions you have now will be answered in time. For now, Link, go bravely. <laughs> Unknown, but signs indicate that this individual is extremely aged. I detect no danger from her aura. Signs indicate that she is here to protect the temple. Okay, there's a treasure chest on this side right here. And some pots. I really don't know what exactly gave the Pavilonian reaction for Zelda players to smash pots. I don't know. Alright, you got some revitalizing. Cool. And I got another bottle. Yep. Right? Awesome. That's like two of the five you can get in this game. They're still sticking with five? I think, yeah, still five. Okay. I mean, you only get a maximum of eight of your adventure pouch, so you don't even need that many, really. True. There's your beacon. Okay. <laughs> They're pretty useful for, like, sky stuff. I'll say that. Yeah. Oh, there's birds! What have I walked into? Um, I think you walked into a gang rape. <laughs> oh, it's a good! <laughs> Out of the way! Scram! 